Don't try this at home, folks. This study is extremely hard and it's long and it's, it's very, very difficult. So uh, you could give it a try. I think you need to be on a grandmaster level, perhaps international master to find this out. And especially you need to put a lot of time into this. But white is to move. And the more we look at it, we realize that these two pawns are pretty difficult to stop. And white is not here to try to win. That's impossible. He is just here to try to save a draw. But uh, not even that is very easy. As I stated, of course, uh, when I said it was hard. Because white is trying to save the draw. And... Uh, well, if you want to give it a try to solve this, then post the video now and I will start showing you the, uh, the different variations. Okay. So, we're back. All right. Uh, of course, we need to stop uh, both pawns, starting with the one on B2 before it becomes a queen. And the first move is not that hard to find. It's uh, only one move that's possible to get this going. And it's uh, rook to h8 check. We give up the rook. But we see pretty soon, of course, that that cannot take it because of the check. And the pawn falls. And then if one pawn falls, the next one will be falling, obviously. So... Black cannot take, so he only has two options here. Which one to choose? Well, if he goes to g6, it's also pretty simple. Then actually white is winning this. Uh, because he will go here and just take the pawn. Or both pawns. Something like this. Uh, so, let's go back. So... Here's the, when it starts getting tricky. King g7. What is white uh, going to do here now? Well, if you want to pause the video again, go ahead. And now I will show you. He has to keep pushing this. And the only way to do that is bishop f6 check. Now this time he... Black has to take it, obviously, because if he doesn't, well, it's a, it's a short losing. So he has to take, and white gets the check. King moves on, and white goes down to f1. And the next move for black is pretty obvious. Goes to d4 to try to cover his uh, pawns here. And from here... It's starting to get really tricky. How is white going to save the draw now? He's at move. If you want to pause the video again, go ahead. And we're back. So let me first show you. Of course, he cannot go with the rook here uh, and sacrifice because uh, this will be a queen and it's losing. And if it doesn't sacrifice, uh, do anything else, well... Black is going to force white to, to lose his rook. So, he cannot do that. He has to find another, another theory, another idea on how to uh, save this. And I will show you now the right move. And I will explain a little later on why this is the right move. It's king to g4. Okay, so black is going down with his king. And now white continues with king to f5. And I will show you the idea now. Because black goes to c2. And it's a check. And uh, if he goes down, then it's a check. You can go here. It's a check. So we're going to try the perpetual checks here. You cannot go anywhere closer to the rook, of course. Because he will lose his pawn. So he has to go back, and like this. But black has another idea. 
after the check on f2, black can go to b1 with the idea of going to a1 and then take a queen. And white well, doesn't have the time actually with his king to go closer because this is a loss. He will take a queen next time and it's lost. So white has to find something else after king b1. Obviously, it's not to check. He has goes up and it will, will be a queen next time or like this. And now it will be a queen. So here white has to find something else. And again, if you want to pause the video, do so. And now I'm going to show you what to do. White has this fantastic move, rook f4. Now, if black goes to c2, well, we'll just go back. Same with c1. We go back and it's uh, the checks. And if he goes to b1, I mean to a to a2 or a1, well, we take a check here and it goes back. And now we well, can go all the way here if he wants to. So this is the draw. Nice, wasn't it? But let's go back. Why does white have to play g4 and then f5 with his king? We we're going to talk about that. Well, because of this. If you just say, OK, I move somewhere else. I just move the, the rook or anything. Well, it goes here and goes back doing the same thing. Now he goes here right away. That's the tricky part, because if white goes here now, well, then he has to go back. And he can't just do a random move and wait, because it will be a queen. So that's why King has to go to g4. King c3 has to go to f5, not f4, because we need this space for the rook, for this, uh, uh, not like that, for this maneuver, as I showed you. Because black can try, black king to c2 is actually a mistake. It's better chance to try to go to b4. And now, the king needs to be this close because he will have the time to go here like this. But he has to go around, not to block the way from for the rook. And black takes the queen. We take it, we take it. And white takes the pawn on b3. And there you have it, the draw. All of the variations, I hope I didn't miss anything. It's a very, very complex and beautiful study. I hope you, if you didn't figure it out, I hope you learned something anyway. Have a great day. Don't forget to subscribe. More problems will come. Bye-bye.